So in this tutorial, we're going to learn how to bring a presentation from your computer onto the Igloo screen. Uh, we're going to use Google Slides um, because it's the best way of getting it from your computer screen onto the Igloo and it's also free to use. There will be a tutorial on how to get PowerPoint to work. It's a slightly different process, but for now we're just going to stick with Google Slides. Hi there, in this tutorial we are going to learn how to use Google Slides to create a 360 presentation uh, that will be run using Igloo Web and will work in any of our Igloo products. Um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to create an 8000 by 1000 presentation. Uh, this, this is our standard Igloo aspect ratio uh, and it will look like this. This is going to be four slides, one with a title, maybe a logo, whatever you want three images um, with some shaping and some text over the top and with an overlay and a closing slide. In principle, this should give you most of what you need to create a presentation within an hour um, that will work perfectly in an igloo. So let's get started. We just have to click to slides home and this will take us back to here and we're going to create a blank presentation. Now you can see straight away that this looks nothing like what we just had. This is a 16 by 9 aspect ratio presentation that would work on a computer screen or a te television or a standard projection. So we're just going to remove this content from there, highlight it and delete. We'll name this, so this is going to be 360 presentation. Now we're going to need to go to file, page setup and we're going to change the aspect ratio. Obviously, um, this is quite a unique aspect ratio, so it's not there, we just have to click Custom. Now, we're going to change this from centimeters to pixels, and that's going to be 8,000 by 1,000. That is the standard 8 by 1 igloo aspect ratio. 8,000 pixels by 1,000 pixels. So, as you can see, it looks just like the one we had on the screen a minute ago, and we just need to add the content. So we're going to change the background color straight away. Um, we'll just choose a dark blue, a very dark blue, or um, yeah. You can add an image, but we'll go into some of the issues with adding 8,000 pixel wide images in a little while. Um, so at the moment, we're just going to go with a background color. And we are going to now add some text. If you click with the text box, it's going to fill a huge space. So we don't want to do that. Uh, we just want to take your text box and select a small amount like this. Uh, we're going to change the text color to white. Um, we will center and then we will also center within the box. So that's a vertical center and a horizontal center. Uh, we're just going to zoom in as well. So we'll just type prison change the font here this is our standard font uh, let's make this 60 and that's done we're just going to click fit which is 15% but that will show the whole space now it's worth remembering that this is extremely large this is 8,000 pixels wide um, but in physical space this is the entire screen that's being projected onto this edge here meets this edge here so anything that runs up against this is going to be cut off and something will start again here. So we'll center this and you can easily see where the center is because these uh, red lines, vertical and horizontal, will appear. So that's perfectly centered. And that's our first slide. Obviously you can put whatever you want there. It's up to you. We're going to duplicate this slide to make sure we've still got the background. We don't really need it, but it's, it's worth doing. I'm going to delete that, and we're going to bring in some images. Now, I'm imagining that this presentation is maybe a, a real estate presentation or maybe um, a development site or something like that. So we're going to go over to pexels.com, which is a pretty good uh, stock image site. It's all free. I'm going to hit real estate here. I've already searched for these. So here we have a bunch of images. Um, this one here, this will work really well. So you just hit download. Thanks to David for the photo. Um, we're going to find another one. This one here. 
Now, as these images are going to go side by side, we actually want them to sort of contrast with each other. So the two I've selected so far are quite similar in colour. So we're going to choose something completely different. We're going to choose this one. Um, it's not perfect, but it should work for what we want. So we'll download that one as well. So we have our three images down here in our downloads bar, and we will go back to the presentation. Now to, to, to bring in an image, you have to go insert image and upload from computer. But as I've already downloaded them, they're right here. So you can just click and drag into here. It's going to fit it to the, to the uh, canvas, but we don't really want to do that. We want to make it slightly bigger. So we're going to make it about that big, bring it to the edge, and we're going to sort of mask it with a shape. So you do that by clicking on the image. Now up here in the crop image, there is a small arrow. You can click that, and there are a bunch of shapes here. This is quite useful. Uh, we're going to select parallelogram, and that will trim the shape like that. I'm going to make it slightly bigger. It's sort of a bit of trial and error to get it to fit how you want it, but if you click on it and then double click, it will come up with these crop bars. Now you can see the angle is changing slightly, which is why I'm leaving it until afterwards to get the shape just perfect. So anything that hangs over this edge won't be viewed. So we're just going to pull this back to about there. Now we want this to take up about a third of the space, which is a little large. So we'll just pull it backwards. Now I'll, I'll double click again to bring up the crop. So that's in position, that's fine. And that will look good. As these images are not 8,000 pixels wide, um, they will look fine. If you bring an image into Google Slides, this is a bit of a quirk that Google Slides has got. If you bring in a full image all the way across, Google Slides actually compresses the image and it makes it look quite bad. So usually I will do two images um, side by side, which actually works quite well because you know people generally are only looking on one side or the other. Um, anyway, rather than bringing the other images in one by one, I'm actually going to duplicate this image. So hold control and then drag it across. And there's our other image. And do the same again, hold control and drag it across. Now these aren't quite laid out how I want them, so I want that one in front and that one in front, and I want this one behind, which will be clear why in a minute. So I'm going to go to I'm just right click on it, and I'm going to order, send to back. Now I know that if I leave this image here with that corner on that corner, like that, and the same on this side, it's actually the top corner now, but if I move that to there, and it's, I know that, that these two are identical on each side, and then that one will be centered. Um, it's a slightly smaller image, but that's okay, it doesn't matter. So what I do next, you can see obviously they're all the same image, um, but I have downloaded the ones I want. So I right click, replace image, upload from computer. I'm gonna choose this one. Now you can see it's actually a lot bigger than it needs to be, so I'm gonna bring this down. These, um, crop marks don't really matter because it's being hidden by the other images so it really doesn't matter. Uh, now I just need to position it properly. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit so it's... It's maybe a little close in this image to be honest. Um, I'd, I'd rather something that was a bit further away but this, this will do the job for now. So we have that then. You can see the reason now why I wanted different images of different colours because they contrast with each other. Once I change this, this is kind of similar you see here. Just feels like it's almost merging into this, this image. But once I right click and replace image, upload from computer, select this one. Now you can see we have a quite clear line between the two images. I'm gonna double click and bring this one. Now this is trimming the top of the building a little bit, so I'm just gonna double click and bring this down a little bit just to get it perfect. Okay, so that, that's perfect. That's, that's how I want it. So we have these images, three images across the igloo. This will span the entire space and it will look uh, really sharp inside the igloo. So that's slide two. For slide three, we're actually going to duplicate slide two. Um, so now again, we have two identical slides. We know nothing's moving. That's the important thing here is that these images aren't going to move. Now we're going to highlight, format options, and I'm going to adjust them. 
and it's going to bring the brightness down to about 70%. Maybe that's a bit much, let's make it, let's make it 60%. Now, you can see nothing's changing, it's just darkening the images. So we're going to, using the text tool, we're going to bring in a text box. Now again, we're gonna zoom in so you can click the little magnifying glass and move in. The text color has defaulted to black again, so um, we're gonna go white, uh, change this to comforter, and we will type title. We will center it. And we want our title to be something like 36. Okay, that works. Now for our, the rest of our text, we're gonna change this to Montserrat. And maybe we want it to be about 24. I'm gonna to go to Laura Mipsum and just get some stock text. So I'll copy paste that. This is great for placeholder text. Um, now that's obviously a little bit big, so we're just going to maybe, let's go 18. No, I'm going to change my mind, I'm going back to 24. That was fine. I can see what's happening here. It's changing the whole thing. I want the title a bit bigger, 48. Yeah, that looks perfect. Do we want a space? No. Yeah, that looks perfect. Okay, so. Uh, now we're going to zoom out. So you can you can zoom out, or you just click fit, which will fit the whole space. Now we click on this, and we're going to put it maybe just over here. We'll make sure we keep it uh, horizontally um, centered. Now again, if you hold Control, you can drag it out, and we'll probably put it just about on some good spacing. So about that. If we do that again, you can see we'll bring up some little blue markers. Now that lets me know that those are spaced evenly. And then I do it one more time, and the markers will come up again. So let me know that that's perfectly spaced. So if I click the first one, hold shift, click again, click again, click again. I've now selected all four of those, and I can drag them across until, where is it? There we go. So now we have this, the vertical center and the horizontal center. If I let go, those are perfectly centered. And obviously, you would put whatever whatever content you want in those. This is just for speed. We're just adding title and placeholder text. You might put some talking points in here, either to remind you to talk about them or things that, uh, if it's a non-presented presentation, someone could just um, read through those on their own. And in principle, you kind of have a lot of the uh, tools that you kind of need now to to make more slides. So that's slide three, and we're going to finish on slide four, and simply we're just going to duplicate slide one um, to keep everything the same. There's no point in doing it again. We just go here and we will change this to thank you. Okay, thank you. That's the closing slide. You could have images back here. You know, you could quite, quite easily just um, instead, you could duplicate this one. You could remove those text boxes and simply take the thank you from there. Copy, paste. You can have that as your closing slide as well. You know, it's, 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 you saw how quickly you can do, you can do those things. Um, but for now, we are gonna remove slide four and just have slide one, slide two, slide three, and slide four. So now we need to get it into the igloo. We could just load this website into the igloo, but we don't really want any of the editing um, so what we're gonna do, we are gonna to go to File, Publish to the Web. If, you've, if you hit the Play button, it will automatically play. Uh, just in case that happens, I'm gonna change that to every minute. Um, but we're now gonna Publish. Yes, I'm sure I want to publish. That's our link here. So we get, what we're gonna do, we're gonna copy this link and put it into uh, Igloo Web. Before I do that, I'm just gonna copy it myself here and open up a tab and Control V, paste it into a box. So you can see just on a standard computer, this is our presentation. If I hit right, left, you can see, you get an idea of what this is gonna look like. And we did that in what? About uh, 15 minutes, it's four slides. And now I'm just gonna bring it over into Igloo Web and we will see what it looks like. Okay, now that I'm at my Igloo media server and I've opened Igloo Web, I'm just gonna copy paste that link into the address bar and it will come up in the igloo. Then as you can see, 
It looks great. Um, we did this in about 15 minutes. Uh, imagine what you could do in a few hours. Um, and that's the end of the tutorial. Thanks. If you want to see more about how to create content for Igloo, uh, just visit igloovision.com.